just rambling around Leavenworth, Washington. In this video, we're gonna enjoy some wintertime fun. All right, ramblers, let's get rambling. They weren't ready for us to check into the Icicle Resort since we arrived early. So we're going to find something to do to kill some time. So we're sitting here doing the snow tubing. We're not much skiers, so we, we have not skied. We don't want to break our legs this weekend. So we're just going to do some snow tubing. $30 a person, and then we'll go head out over there. <laughs> well, no, we're doing this because we can't ski. <laughs> well, we don't want to break anything. Oh, that's fine. Here we go. That's a little higher than I thought. Pretty good. <laughs> Feet up. Oh, holy shit. This went quick. <laughs> in Leavenworth, Washington. We are not skiers, so we decided to do some tubing. And it was fun. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, that was good. Yeah. YouTube, inner tube. So they said there's a lodge here and that you can get beers, wine, snacks. So we're just gonna go check it out real quick and see what we've got. Ooh, I love been around a long time. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Oh, is it still on? Go ball in here. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a hazy IPA from... Icicle, I think. Yeah, Icicle Brewing, yeah. yeah. Icicle Hazy IPA, very good. Oh, look at the old skis here. This is great. This is 1940 when oh, yeah. this one was taken. Man, that looks like a chaotic mess. Oh, ski job. Yeah, sneak bite style. Where were they at? at 10? I don't know. I'll have to look, we'll look it up. We'll look it up as soon as I'm we sure it's going to be like right there. <laughs> we'll look it up and we'll have it right here. Mm. Actually, it's, it's really good. How did you like going on the tube today? Did you it like was it? was good. Yeah. yeah, it was better than what I thought. It goes a little faster than we thought, huh? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like a 20-foot drop, four <laughs> mile an hour. And that, what a cute cabin. So built in the 1930s. What a cute Yeah, by the Lodge. Conservation Corps. Look how beautiful it is today, too. Yep. Inspired. I deserve you. I deserve you. So I accept that. We had to do it I, I at least you. one time while we're here. Yeah. You smiled. You liked it. You know you liked it. I'm so abusive. I know. Let's talk about it in the mountain shelter. <laughs> Hot Let's cocoa. Talk Let's talk about it in group therapy. See? Oh, you almost bust your ass wide open. Oh, I almost bust my ass wide open. I want to jump in there and take that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We just left Ski Hill and we went tubing and that was 
fantastic. We had a good time. I think we had a good time. Did we have a good time? Yeah, I think we had a good time. Great. At least on photos, it should look like we had a good time. <laughs> um, so for $30, you are able to go up six times. It went a little faster than we thought, but we had a good time. It was fun. And then we decided to check out that lodge because I knew it was built in the 1930s. Had a beer. They have a few different beers on tap and they have some wine snacks cocoa for the kids you can get warm by the fire and go back out uh, so it was a cute little place I uh, had a good time there you know didn't even know really about a lot of this stuff because we've always come to Leavenworth during Oktoberfest so it was a lot of fun to go to Leavenworth uh, here during the winter season and so that's what we're doing here today is to show you what you can do here in the winter season and um, we were originally booked during the holidays during Christmas that's a popular time of the year to come here but found out that they have the lights going on as if it's Christmas through all of January and through all of February so we're really excited to be able to see all the lights uh, the whole time that we're here so we're gonna show you what you can do in Leavenworth during the winter and off season not when it's completely packed they're ready for us <laughs> it never gets old. Now this is called the Mozart Suite. We've got a little area here for your fridge, microwave, sink. And we're supposed to have a view of the mount. Oh my goodness, there we is. have, wow. Oh my, did end up with a great view of the mountains here in Leavenworth. And then we have a front area to have some coffee in the morning or maybe some wine tonight. And oh, and there's the, so this is a heated outdoor pool and hot tub so you can come out here and enjoy this uh, adults only up until 11. and there's the uh, beautiful mountains here Day. So it's February, the middle of February, and uh, we never get a chance to do this during the middle of the day like this, right? There's not very many people around, winter time. Yeah, this is a good time to, good yeah. time to come. Come down in February. Like you have love yeah. to yourself. Yeah. 55 beers on tap. Oh, there we go. Okay. $9.50 for a burger, fries, and a beer. Cheers! See if they're playing the game. Got a good beer for you for us up here. We're at the loft and German have a while you're at the loft. Uh, double lager. Yeah. You're in Leavenworth, gotta get uh, the German beers. Yeah. It was busy. It was busy, but it was good. Those guys are working real hard. All we wanted was a beer. We got to see the whole first half of the uh, first yeah. half of the Super Bowl. Now we're gonna head no. somewhere else, see if we get lucky again. Ooh, you can really start to see the lights now. It's already been changing.
is a stout. It is the Dark Sun Stout from Bridal. They're out of Yakima, Washington. And these guys, they make solid beers. Try the cider. Oh, it's a honey badger. Honey that's badger. what this was. Yeah, and it's not. That's not like a sickly sweet thing with uh, honey. You assume, mm -hmm. you know, when you say honey, uh, it's going to be just some syrupy, drippy, oozy. No, it's just you know, right. Just, uh, yeah, this is very. It's not dry, but it's uh, it's good. It's not tart either, but it's it's a good, well balanced. Actually, it's a well balanced cider. It is a well balanced cider. I never thought I'd say that. Do some Valentine. Where are I'm you? Gonna, I'm gonna get so Valentine. In Leavenworth, Washington. And you're here for Valentine? And I am so in love with you, Jody. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. I'm so in love it hurts. <laughs> like right here. <laughs> I mean, I think it's either like I don't think it's constipation. I think it's love. I got some free beer. I got free beers today. You didn't get free beers. Yes, I. These are free. How did you get free beers? These are free. How? I got these for free. How? Because the owner said, give these away. Which owner? The owner of the place. What and place? Listen, I got these for free. Just okay, don't we'll worry about him. About he later. don't know. Again. I know, it's Christmas all the time. Christmas for Valentine's Day. But it's always Christmas when you're married to me. Every day is Christmas. Gosh, you got big antlers. Whoa, I just.
And this is his little oh, sister, and he's very bonded to Aurora. <laughs> Brother and here. sister. Mother Freya. Oh. Freya's one of our original. All done, baby. He said he's kind of lame, or, or uh, lame, yeah, lame leg, he, or? Yeah, he couldn't stand right away. He's going to move, because him. Going to oh. Um, so, yeah, he was born with weak hinds. He spent oh. almost two weeks at Washington State University. There was nothing wrong with him that they could fix. Wow. They said his spine looked good. He just has really weak hips where he's had some arthritis settled in. Now, I was expecting them to be bigger. So this is this is as large these as they are, get. These are actually bigger than the reindeer that we're going to be around next week in Norway. Um, it's a, There's different subspecies of Norway, of reindeer. And yeah. in Norway, there's some real small subspecies. Okay. Can I pet this one? Yeah, you can. Hi. <laughs> Hi. His name is Tommy. He's good friends with Moonshine, the one that was bottle raised. They're best buds. We're just leaving the area with the reindeers and we petted the reindeer that was fun yeah had a it good was. time doing that and uh there's a few babies in there there's a baby that's going to be born to tonight or maybe tonight or tomorrow yeah we cool. learned a lot about reindeer when we were in there that was fun. yeah so i thought sweet. they were i thought they would be bigger you know i thought they would be like almost the size of an elk but we learned a lot about the reindeer i didn't realize you know their antlers fall off and sometimes they have one and they lean sideways we saw one in there and they yeah. grow one inch every day I mean, that's crazy. And then one of those was an eight pound antler. So you got an eight pound antler on your head and the other one's missing. It was interesting. We just, we learned a lot of stuff. It was, yeah. It was yeah, they had a good presentation and then uh, <laughs> you go in there and pet the animals. It's nice. Family owned. So we just left the reindeer farm. Uh, it was a neat experience. Got ourselves a coffee cup. We like to collect coffee cups. Um, I think there's- we a, like drinking coffee. Yeah, we like drinking coffee and uh, we should probably find a coffee place today too. We'll we'll try. Yeah. Um, the reindeer farm was really cute. We had a really nice time. It's family owned and operated, um, so you know we always want to support family. And um, oh, we didn't get the code. Oh, I forgot. But now that we've been there before, um, we get a little discount every time we go it's back. It's a twenty percent discount for return visits, and uh, I think it's worth a return visit. Oh, definitely. Because you know, at first, yeah, I'm not. I don't like petting zoos. And when we got there, it was it was, it was better than what I thought. I didn't mind. Uh, uh, petting the animals and I thought that uh, yeah, they come right up to you they're not yeah. shy it yeah. was kind of cute they just they they know you've got food in their hand and yeah, they... it was a lot better than what I expected yeah and I don't uh, you know, and yeah. I don't look forward to these things <laughs> it was good it'd be really adorable you know during the holiday season they have a really nice setup there um, you can get pictures with Santa and stuff so um, it's a neat place to get you know a family photo um, so it was very enjoyable but it was kind of fun going during a time of the year that isn't as busy I've never petted a reindeer before so that was it was fun petting a reindeer I enjoyed it so and now we're gonna go look for some uh, coffee and maybe get a sweet treat or something we'll see and the distillery Oh, look how pretty the hair is. It's 40 for the first two people, $5 per day. That's what we do. We're at an Americano. Yeah, we were at the other store and she told us to come down here. Okay, you're kind of semi educated. I was like, 12, 18 or 16 ounces. I'm going to do 16 ounces. This is the largest I can carry out. Two of the largest I can carry out. You're in cost right now. We've got a chimney of wine, cola, wine, a little bit of sweetness to it. Any cream or anything in those? Or no. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, it's one taste of coffee. Absolutely. Um, yeah, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, good? That's good. That yeah. is good. It was a perfect day. You see reindeers and had a coffee. What an awesome day. And the sun just hid behind the clouds and it just dropped about 20 degrees. It did. I believe it's like a raspberry filling inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to split it up. 
Oh my, look at that. Mm. And then coffee at J5. It's a pour over. It's really Honduran. Honduran, yeah. Very, very good coffee at J5, so I would go there. And they do roast their own coffee beans, and then they did a slow pour. Well, this is a ginger snap. snap. Ginger this snap. Is a ginger because snap it's, cooking. Oh, it's soft. So it's not a snap. Soft ginger snap. That's good. But if you're going to come to a gingerbread place, you should try the gingerbread snap. Yeah, I like gingerbread, ginger snaps. Is this ginger, good? Flavor? Ginger cooking. Yeah. Okay. So this is the, the petite plum sour. So. Cool. I know that this is something you really like. Yeah, you wanted something light, and I, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Could I get the lager, please? Yes. Cheers. I'm going light. Starting light today. I might just do it. I can't believe. Here we go. It's a light, crisp lager. Very good. This looks is a, good. Yeah, this tastes really good. Good beers. Yeah. 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 That blew it. They do a good job. Yeah. So we went into Blue It, had a couple beers. We didn't blow it this trip. Last trip we blew it. <laughs> we blew it at Blue It. But we did blow it at Blue It. Uh, we're well, thinking about going back tomorrow because they have a really good special with the pizza. The arugula, the meat, the pepper, and bacon. Uh, it's good looking pizza. Peppers. Yeah. Actually, the peppers are amazing. And the lager and the plum sour. So we're yeah. like, hmm, I'm gonna have to go yeah. back there tomorrow. Yeah, pizza and a pint for uh, 20 bucks. So. Pretty cool. Yeah, right here. And then look at town. Look at. Yeah, all of that. Look at all these guys. Look at these. Now we're gonna have some cocktails. Sure. All right. Some cocktails and a distillery, something different. It's not always beer. So what you got there? You got? I ordered a Bloody Mary. So we're gonna try. It. And this is their own vodka, and this is two different kinds. Two pepper. different kinds of pepper vodka. Pepper vodka. Yeah. Sorry, my pepper vodka. Let's see. Oh, you're gonna love this. This is, hold on. This is really good. This has a nice little kick to it. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. It's nice and dark. And that, that looks good. It, it's good. Yeah. Oh, it smells. Just in time, too. Thank you. Like. This smells super good, too. <laughs> which, which one do you have? This is a Mango Cosmo. Here, I'll try that one, too. I'll take one for the team. I'm gonna try this one, too. That's really good. Hey, it's got a little flavor. I was gonna mention Jolly Rancher or something, but yeah, I mean, it's just yeah, it's it really mango, and there's just some other fruit in there, too. Ooh. Yeah, relax. Nice, yeah, sweet. Yes, here. Now let's try it. Bloody Mary. We were talking about Bloody Marys this morning. Oh, there's pepper stick, olive, pickle, lime, lemon. Yeah. Should have this for breakfast. I know. Maybe okay. tomorrow morning. We might be back tomorrow. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I miss. It. We need to drink more Bloody Marys. Yeah. The nachos are supposed to have um, sweet potatoes on them. Yeah, as well. sweet potatoes. Oh my god. I never thought about putting sweet potatoes on top of the nachos. Yeah. Well, we've had sweet potato tacos before. Yeah, this is hearty. Remember that was in. Uh, was that Ola Brewing? There's a sweet lot of flavor, tacos. and this is very yummy. Yeah. For $21, you can order three small versions of their cocktails to be able to try them. So I thought it was a good idea. So, so we got three different cocktails, 21 bucks, three different cocktails, mm -hmm. just a sample. And this one is like a, this one here is a cucumber mojito. And they make their own vodkas, their own, their own everything. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sweet. But refreshing. It's refreshing. It tastes refreshing. Oh, okay. You know, because the cucumber, it just tastes really refreshing. One is the um, Starburst. So, lemon. A lot of lemon. <laughs> they all like it. I think you'll like this one, yeah. Is it tart? Real nice and tart? I don't know. Might be tough trying things after you try other ones. 
And then this one, I got this for you because I thought you might like it. This is called the Ginger Snap. So. Ooh. Strong. I mean, it's just. Strong booze or strong ginger? The ginger. This is, this is the Ginger Snap. I like ginger, but but I, I wish I had more ginger taste to it. There's more sweet than, than ginger, yeah. but it, there, it's still it's still there. Surprise! I was really surprised. So actually, like they distill, you know, their own, but they also do they distill for Tommy Bahama. So I thought it was yeah, they had a Tommy Bahama signature drink line yeah and so and they yeah and then they make be careful let's just up here they make cocktails uh pre-made cocktails so you can take like bottles of pre-made cocktails with you um so yeah i would uh that is definitely a place to go into the cocktails were amazing oh their sign is covered i see by all that yeah, snow all the snow <laughs> yeah. but uh what is it called blue blue spirits distilling company yeah and just uh really good Absolutely, really, really good. We'll be going back there tomorrow. And that Bloody yeah, Mary Bloody was Mary's. spicy. If you like spicy Bloody Mary, the pepper Bloody Mary was just amazing. Very good, very, very good. Yeah, oof, just had a drop of water right down my neck. Oh. Talk about timing. Ooh. Oh my God, we've been waiting. Oh, this feels good. Oh, I know. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the doghouse. Yeah. Thank you. You guys been here before? Oh, yes. Yeah. We're Couldn't just wait. Here a couple months ago. Cannot wait to come back. I think and you, you guys are close to tomorrow. Vegas a couple months back in October? No, that was another guy. Was There's a guy. Joel, who's, yeah. He was leaving to Vegas like. Yeah, the Joel's next going day. to Vegas. Um, yeah. Uh, January or something like that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want us to be on this side or the yeah, other side? Yeah, we need to prefer. Toasty and warm in here, huh? It is. I love that picture. <laughs> I love that photo. So it was a combination of two different cocktails because I didn't want the... Uh, you don't want sweet. Yeah. Instead of gin, he put uh, mezcal peel in there so it has a smoky, uh, smoky uh, taste. It'll... Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. That one. This is the pear collins, yeah. The pear collins, so it's like a tom yeah, collins. Yeah. Oh wow! And so this has like lemon and honey in it. Cute little. Okay. Those are some good cocktails. No, good cocktails. Yeah. I like the the atmosphere. I like the ambiance yes. of the of the place. And Quiet, dark, good lighting. Yeah. Just peaceful, enjoyable, relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't in your face. And For sure. Yeah. Very nice. I would definitely be going back there. We might probably go back there again tomorrow night. All right. Let's go over to the Baron House. Are you the doorman? <laughs> <laughs> the <charge piece. laughs> oh, my smokes. Look at that. Mm. We're gonna get some food. I'm hungry. <laughs> so this is the port on blue one. So we got Swiss cheese, ham, and schnitzel. <laughs> that was a mess. <laughs> Between cutting it to your mouth. Still chewing. Is it tough? Good. I just got two days a piece. No. Oh. Mm, but. I had him do the gravy on the side. Yeah, that little brown gravy. Mmm. Fantastic. Got, got cabbage, sauerkraut, potatoes. Mm -hmm. Potatoes look good. I'm gonna get a wash it down. I'm coming out of the Baron house and. That was good. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. Yeah, it was. Big beers for $11. 25 yeah, ounces. That was a lot of. Yeah. yeah. So it was like 40, 48 ounces of beer in our bellies. Mm. Oh gosh, don't remind me. Too bad they didn't know spatzel. We're gonna have to find spatzel tomorrow. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, so this is. We the, had to come back here. Yeah. It's Snitzel like, Cordon Bleu. It's probably one of the only places in town that actually serves spatzel. Too. Yeah, I think it is. Trouble having finding spatzel. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 
but you can go look at it in our October video, but we just couldn't help it. We had to come back here, so yeah. this is the big winner. You have to go to Andres Keller. Andres Keller. It's a briar and bramble, maybe. They say it's a sour, but it's more, I don't think it, it doesn't mm. taste like a sour because it doesn't have the, the tartness of a lactobacillus. It has, it's more of a, it tastes more of a fruited ale rather than a sour the tartness of a lactobacillus, but it's still good. This one is passion fruit. Slucky XL, so. Poolside popsicle. This is the hot tub lifeguard. Your Valentine found that for you? Uh, yeah, my, my Valentine for life. Over to you and said, my Valentine for life. I said, this is you. Yeah, because I'm fruity. Good, huh? Very subtle. Good. Bail breaker. Is it bail breaker? Yeah, it is. Hot tub, hot tub time machine. Well, hot tub we, lifeguard. I, I keep adding that to it, too. Yeah, this is where we stayed at the during the fires. In October for October. Look at that. adult-only hotel. It's got an outdoor heated pool as well, and it's a spa. Um, when we were camping a couple of years ago, I think we came in here and we found out you could, back then, I don't know if it's still the same, but it was like $60 and you could use the facilities all day long, the spas, the sauna. I've tried to get in here several times. You, and they keep kicking you out. <laughs> no, <laughs> but definitely like six months to a year in advance, you need to book it. Maybe yourself. next time, next time we'll stay there. <laughs> Bicycle Outfitters, and we are gonna go on a sleigh ride.
Probably two lady mountains. Oh, the ones that. Uh, Looks like a lady laying on her back looking up at the sky. Oh, yeah. Oh. Her right. Eye and then her nose yep. and her chin and her chest. Yep. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? You want to do one of those? I think so. I think that kind of sounds fun. Yeah. You want some cheesecake? Yeah. 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 So, this is, you can order a taster tray, so you can get four different ones to try. The cherry cheesecake. Yeah, yeah cherry cheesecake. Mm. Oh my gosh. Hmm? That is sinful. Turtle vibe? Uh, I'm assuming so, yeah. So, turtle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the then pecans and caramel. The strawberry balsamic. So strawberry balsamic. Yeah, I like. Um, it's a good strawberry uh, flavor. And then you can taste the balsamic in there too. It's not too. Um, I can't. I can't really taste it. Miss Martha's Miss brownie. Miss Martha's brownie. No, I don't yep. think it's Miss Martha. <laughs> it's maples. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's real good. It's, I like the idea of getting a little taster tray with four different ones. We just finished at Whistle Punk Ice Cream Company. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. So we don't have ice cream very often, but I gotta say, uh, it was really, really good. Huge chunks of cherry cheesecake, huge chunks of brownie. Um, so really good ice cream. And you get the sampler and you pick four of them. So it was kind of neat that to was, be able And to that was more than enough. We that was more than enough. Half. But we didn't get a waffle cone. We didn't have something. Yeah. It was very good. So yeah. if you come here, go to Whistle Punk. Great ice cream. You can tell. I mean, it was made well. Right, we're in our hot tub here, um, and we're at the Icicle Village Resort, the Icicle Resort. So the hot tub and the heated pool run until 11 p.m., and no kids between 10 and 11, but we're lucky we're all alone once again. Very nice, the breakfast turned out really good here. I was really surprised, like they mm -hmm. have a full warm, yeah, it was actually and it was a meal. You yeah. got it's an actual meal. Right, and you all eat right. in the restaurant too. So you have all the tables in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was. Um, I'll probably try to show it a little bit better, but but I mean, it's not like a little tiny morning breakfast. It's a good breakfast yeah. to have. So so yeah, I, a little heartier than most. Yeah, so I would probably stay here again for sure. So um, so anyway, we're wrapping up our time here. We had a good time in Leavenworth, and um, I would say, do you prefer winter or October? Like Oktoberfest or winter, which one would you pick? I pick them both. They're both equally good. Actually, yeah, you're right. They're both equally good because I mean, th there is a lot of yeah, snow. You don't here. have to. You don't have to pick one. Nope. You can you can choose them all. Yeah, and you know? you know I would go back to Ski Hill again. Yeah, I'd go up there. That was kind of fun. Yeah, that was. I think that was where it was thirty bucks a person. Yeah. Yeah, you got, you get they haul you up and push you off. Six times. Well, we haven't been to a lot so, of those. We haven't been to yeah, a lot we, of those Yeah, we're pretty so, sheltered. We don't know. Yeah. But anyway, wrapping up our time here. Uh, we had a good time in Leavenworth. And uh, hopefully you got to pick up a few tidbits on what to do here during the winter season. Um, but if you were wondering what to do in the fall, go look at our Oktoberfest video. Because mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot to do here in the fall as well. So, it was good beer, good food, good time. Mm -hmm. And so, keep on rambling. <laughs>